Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this crazy house with me, your host, Khadija. I want to read y'all an article from the Daily Mail that a female Air Force Lieutenant Colonel stated um, about the murder soldier Vanessa Gillian. So in case y'all don't know um, and haven't heard the story about um, there's a soldier who named, you know, Vanessa Gilliam. Um, she was sexually harassed. I, ultimately, she was murdered. Um, and the guy and I guess another, uh, his girlfriend or somebody else that was in the service. No, she was a civilian. And they uh, tried to dismember her body. Okay, I try to tell people um, from my experience and all the women that I know, and no disrespect to the armed services who have joined the armed services, all the women that I know that were part of that culture, most of them were sexually assaulted, most of them were uh, sexually um, harassed by superior officers and fellow um, soldiers. With impunity, um, just like the police officer. So, and if you would ask me a percentage, I would say a very high percentage of female officers have been molested, raped, sodomized, and all that shit by male officers and male uh, fellow soldiers. Now, I don't care what they say, okay? Because I'm talking about what I know, and I've been around for quite a while, and I know quite a few women who have enlisted in the armed services. And everyone I know besides one have been raped. <laughs> okay, let's just leave it like that. And let me tell you the mindset, because this came from a female Air Force lieutenant. Well, she was since slammed, but what she said was, she suggested that murder soldier Vanessa Gilliam deserve to be sexually harassed because it's the price of admission of women into the good old boys club. A female Air Force Lieutenant Colonel has been slammed for suggesting murder soldier Vanessa Gillian deserve to be sexually harassed because it's the price of admission for women in the Army. If you're going to try, gonna cry like a snowflake about it, then you're going to pay the price about it. Listen to this mindset of this insane brawl that should be shipped out the surface and uh, put in main mental health. She belongs in the real mental house. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Betsy Scholler made the shocking comments on a Facebook thread where another person shared an article about the missing soldier being bludgeoned to death shortly after telling family and friends she was being sexually harassed by a superior officer. Scholler, who is now a senior lecturer at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, hit out at other social media users who expressed sympathy for Gillian. Right up in here with, 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 with me. Okay. Okay. Scholler is a lecturer here in Milwaukee. And I suggest all y'all who go up to Madison in the campus, uh, y'all do the diligent work of getting her removed, uh, asking her to explain herself um, with her mindset in terms of female officer and what's wrong with her. Y'all need to check that. You really do. You guys are kidding, right? Sexual harassment is the price of admission for women into the good old boys club. If you're going to cry like a snowflake about it, then you're going to pay the price. Shoulders comments came just hours after the attorney for Gillian's devastated family released information that the 20-year-old Fort Hood soldier had been bludgeoned to death with a hammer in the armory room where she worked. Her posts, which has since been deleted, sparked outrage from other social media users and a change.org petition is demanding that she be fired from her position at the University of Wisconsin. Come on, y'all. 
Come on, all you mad town graduates. This bitch got to go. She got she got stinking thinking. She's in a position to hurt people with her stinking thinking. She got to go. Incredible. I can't believe what I'm reading. Where does she get off saying something like that? This woman was bludgeoned, hacked up, and buried in a shallow grave, wrote one outraged social media user. Another blast to her for being part of the problem with enriched sexual harassment of women in the armed service. This is like the whole girls can't uh, wear revealing clothing because men can't control their urges. It's on a whole other level. Another person wrote in Facebook. Uh, Gillian, by the way, looks like she's biracial or black. I know the other soldier was black. And the woman who made this comment is definitely a snowflake. There are so many swear words flying around my head, someone said. A fellow veteran agreed with Shona's response encourages harassment taking place. I spent literally half of my career handling sexual assault and harassment charges for sailors, they said. Leaders like her not only encourage harassment, they protect, protect the predators. This is not a mentality she left with her uniform. She brought it in with her. See, y'all going to have to deal with these narcissistic people that are in these military and high uh, 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 um, um, positions of authority. They got to be checked and broken down. She got to go. She has to go ASAP. And I hope everybody under the sound of my voice, especially in Milwaukee, uh, start writing Gwen Moore. Start writing Lena Taylor. And let's get this. I almost said it, but it rhymes with which. She's got to go. Several people point out her high rank, saying that she's responsible to tackle issues of harassment within the Air Force. In one image of 2012, the lieutenant colonel is pictured meeting Michelle Obama during a visit from the first lady to meet with the family members of victims of a ski of the Shee Temple shooting. This bitch. Gillian was last seen alive at the Fort Hood Army Base in Kylie, Texas, on April 22nd, after telling her family that she was being harassed by a sergeant. Her partial remains were finally found Tuesday near the Leon River. Um, in Bell County, more than two months after her disappearance. An FBI criminal complaint released Thursday identified 20-year-old Army Specialist Aaron Robinson murdered her by striking her in the head with a hammer. Robinson committed suicide Wednesday just hours after Gillian's body was found, and his girlfriend um, helped him dismember the body. What an idiot. Now she stuck with the bag, and he killed, he checked out. He fled Fort Hood Tuesday night before he could be arrested by cr Army criminal investigators and shot himself when officials caught up with him a few miles from the base early Wednesday morning. Authorities tried to confront him, and then he killed himself. As officers attempted to make contact with the suspect, the suspect displayed a weapon and discharged it toward himself. The suspect succumbed from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Kyleen Police Department official said. Celia Aguilar, the estranged wife of a Fort Hood soldier, has also been arrested and charged with helping Robinson dismember and dispose of Gillian's body. She has been charged with one count of conspiracy to tamper with evidence and she could face 20 years in prison. Okay? She can face 20 years in prison. 